What up, what up, player players? So, I just want to do a quick little look and video on an item that I normally wouldn't bat an eye for, and that is this. Beast Kingdom's D-Stage Metal Slug 3 Statue. Alrighty, so real quick, I just want to give a huge shout out to the location I copped this from, and that is the AV Pop Shop. If you're in the Los Angeles area, they're north of LA in Lancaster, California, the city of Lancaster. Beautiful store, legit store. They have tons of collector's items from action figures to statues to anime to trading cards, Funko Pops. I mean, you name it, Hot Toys. I'll get, I'll throw a link to their Instagram profile below. Y'all should check them out. So huge shout out to them and to Beast Kingdom for actually tapping into a franchise that I'm a big fan of that I grew up playing. Dang, like I used to jump into the lavanderia just to play this video game. And so this is Beast Kingdom's D-Stage line. Uh, I'm, my understanding is they have tons of different statues from this line here, from Disney to, to I don't know if there's anime, but they, they, they tap into different genres. And this one in particular is from Metal Slug, the video game. Uh, so right here at the top, just looking at the box real quick, it says D-Stage number 45. So I'm assuming this is the 45th statue that they've made and this is the left side of a box our left side so you got pretty much a silhouette of the actual statue itself which we'll take a look at in just a sec and the back look this is pretty dope press start here and then you got s and k sticker so this definitely is a official licensed item from s and k and i got this because you don't see much s and k or or metal slug items out there so I was super excited to actually have ran into this. And then, of course, the bottom with a bunch of legal ease. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this bad boy and let's take a look at exactly what this statue entails. And here we are. So I must say, the packaging looked legit. So nice presentation. But we're here for the statue and tomala. This thing looks great. Uh, I think Beast Kingdom did a solid job with grabbing an ensemble of video game elements and giving it to us in plastic 360 form so as you can see while it's on the rotating little little mechanism here um take a good look at the actual statue itself and obviously where there is no moving parts or articulation statues make them up in in the paint department and if you look the tank you got the tank and different washes of the gray and the browns and the smoke where the missiles attach to and as you can see there's different tones of the white and gray so it is a nice representation of the video game itself um, you don't see no characters so you don't see like Tarma or Marco in it but you can definitely make out that this is directly from Metal Slug 3 check out the bridge so you got the bridge and while it's roaming on the bridge you got the smoke there and it's de it definitely has paint apps, the shading, the little homie soldier got murked right there at the bridge. His little helmet stuck, no bodies, no witnesses, no no evidence. Um, it looks like maybe the scene that this is based off of is a sunset scene because the water here, this is water. It's a, it's a clear acrylic. And my understanding is this is a combination of PVC and ABS plastic. Uh, I can't speak for the other statues, so um, I'm not sure what those are made of, but this one in particular is a combination of both plastics. So you have some some like flexible plastic up here with the antennas and the smoke trails, and then you have heavier, more durable, I wouldn't call it durable actually, I'll take that back, but but just, just harder plastic on the tank, the bridge, and the water. I still would be, a, be concerned with this falling, especially on hard floor, because I'm pretty sure it'll still break. And then, um, of course, you got the Metal Slug logo right underneath there attached to what looks like. To me, it's a it's a tire rim. Uh, don't quote me on that, but that's what to me what that looks like. But check that out. What do you guys think? I think it's dope. So now, I know a lot of us figure collectors aren't statue collectors. I mean, I, I get ones and twos here depending on lines. Um, but the way I look at this, so now this is what I want to show y'all. Do this all in one take. So I'm going to leave this here, move the rotating table, fix the camera a little bit. So this, it's, it's not that big. So don't let the camera fool you, but this here, 
the tip, the top, tip top of the, of the little statue here is on the missile. And by the looks of it, it's about six and a half inches. So it ain't that big. So the reason I like this is I'm not sure if y'all Metal Slug fans like myself are aware, but there are some Metal Slug figures coming out soon by a small company named Tunchi Studios. And you may not be a figure collector, but let me tell you what, this thing that would look badass is a diorama, hence D stage, diorama stage, Beast Kingdom's line. So I'm assuming they're going for a diorama look. And to give you guys a better look, so here is obviously a six inch scale Marble Legends. So that's how, how big it is and how it, it compares in size to a Marble Legends. Let me also, since this is SNK, I want to show you what it'll look like if you do like a video game shelf or whatnot so this is what it looks like let me zoom out the camera wow a little crooked there so this is what it looks like with an snk terry bogard from fatal fury and this is by storm collectibles so obviously this is more 110 scale as you can see it's a little bit bigger than than the captain Mer and captain there um but i want to show you what it what it compares to when it comes down to your other collectibles if you have any um but yeah again if you're not a collector in regards to to, to action figures or statues this is perfect just a perfect uh, ornament i mean you can use this as as paperweight you can use this on your computer desk um just to give you a little bit more comparisons and for shits and giggles here is a one six scale figure so what I have here is the Hot Toy Django Fett. Let me give you guys a rough idea. This is the Hot Toy Django Fett. So this is a 1-6 scale figure around 12 to 13 inches if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, check that out. Anyways, again, I just wanted to take a quick look at this statue just because I myself am a big fan of this franchise. And it's hard to run into any items or collectibles for snk let alone you know metal slug um and beast kingdom really knocked it out of the park we're giving us with giving us a a small little diorama statue based off the video game itself and i i'm, I'm truly pleased and best believe once those figures come out and today being wednesday the 18th of january 2023 my figures have shipped from Tunchi Studios. I bought them off 5K Toys website. And best believe I'm going to put those in the shelf. So once I get those in, I'll throw a little review out there as well. And then compare it with this little bad boy here. So anyways, that's it for me. Um, hopefully you guys like this kind of video. Again, I'm a big collector. Uh, I collect tons of different items. And I want to do a service to the collective community and give my input you know it never hurts to hear somebody else's input so if you liked it please hit the like button um let me hear from you guys what do you guys feel about beast kingdom tapping into dioramas i mean there's tons of dioramas out there obviously but it's pretty cool to get actual physical elements in 360 form you know so yeah it's cool to get like an actual diorama of a full 360 uh form elements from certain titles franchises i mean what do you guys think about that uh, let me know at the comment section below. And aside from that, if you like this kind of video, I mean, this is going to be me making these videos in the long run. So why not subscribe? Anyways, that's it for me. This is Pancho from Pancho's Palace. Hopefully you like this video, but I'm out. Mm -hmm.